Good day, class. Hi, Mr. Merlin. How are you? Good afternoon, Mr. Merlin, sir. Who is ready for a magic challenge today? I'm most certainly ready with my modern approach. Meh, trust me. There's nothing better in wizardry than good, old classics. Uh-oh, please excuse me. I guess I shouldn't have eaten that pudding. Please start, and I'll be back. Aha! Uh -huh. It's my grandpa's spell book. It's a bit dusty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Don't you need a book, Raj? Um... Hmm, a book? I can just watch a tutorial online, and I bet I'll find the recipe faster than you. I wouldn't be so sure about Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, that's exactly what I need. Let's get to business. Check this out, Sam. Whoa. That was incredible, Roger. Thanks. So, this is the first ingredient that I need. Water. I will just pour it into my cauldron. Here we go. Carefully, like this. All the way through. Now, let's make it boil and swell. One, two, three. Wow, it looks like something magical did happen after all. What was that? Hey, no peeking, Sammy. Whatever. Hey, where's my magic hat? Here it is. Thank you. Now, where was I? Ah, I need the first ingredient. Are you ready? And go. Oh, no, it's my favorite hat. How will we sort out the students from now on? Sam, we're not at Hogwarts. Anyway, where was my... Ah, here in the pocket, I have the ingredient number two. Do you want to see what it is? As you can see, we need quite a lot of fairy dust. Or powdered unicorn horn. Or whatever this is. Great! Now that we poured it into the cauldron as well, let's mix everything up really well. Here we go. Swirl, swirl, swirl. One, two, three. Nicely done. But I've got all spider webs here. No, not my web. What would you do now without the web, Raj? What? What are you talking about? I don't need even a tiny piece of that spider web, Sammy. It's an ancient approach to potion making. My magical numbers will get me just to the right place. So, who wants to see how the ingredient number three looks like? Oh, it's a star. How nice. I think it has just gotten out from under the sea. And back in the water you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, let's give it some more mixing. Oh, I nearly forgot. In order to make sure that your potion turns out great, you should subscribe to this channel. Here goes tap, tap, tap. Amazing! I just love the sounds that it makes. That's what I call new modern magic. Yeah! Well, well. According to the recipe, the next ingredient that I need is gold. And I perfectly know where to get it. <laughs> oh, my precious. Come to Papa! There can't be too much gold. <laughs> more. I need more. Okay. Come on, come on. There you go. Gold for the perfect glow. Sounds about right. Wait. Sam, did you throw all our money in there? Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, friends. Here I have my ingredient number four. Whoa. What is this? Looks like a feather of some kind of magical bird. Let's throw it in. Uh-huh and mix it all up really well. Nice. I wonder what can we possibly have next? Let's see. And the next item on my list is... Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I saw that somewhere around. But I don't see it here. All right. Maybe it is over here? No? Ugh. Oh, come on, thingy. I really want to win in this challenge. Where are you hiding? Nothing! Raj, did you see? I see everything, Sammy. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ooh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> now, into the cauldron. You go. It's mixing time. As my grandpa used to say, the right consistency is everything for a proper potion. Or was he talking about slimes? Oh, my tibadaba. What is that smell, Sammy? Are you sure that you're doing it right? I command you to stop. <laughs> Phew, that's better. And we're moving on to the ingredient number five. It looks very interesting. Let's see what it is. Here we go. Hmm, is it a snowball or something? Anyway, it goes right here. Whoa, can you see that, folks? It dissolves in a funny way. Awesome. 
Wow, I guess I'm gonna win. Just two more ingredients to go. Yeah. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yay! Are you kidding me, Sammy? Stop sabotaging my work by throwing stuff in my way! Whoopsie! Don't be angry, Roger! I didn't mean to do that! It's okay. Just be more careful next time, alright? <laughs> now, I'm going to reveal the secret of this baggie number six. What's this? Oh, wow! We're going big! Look, friends, it's a diamond! I so don't want to waste it on the potion. It's so pretty! But it seems that I have no choice if I want to win. So, let's do this. Just check this out. My potion changed its color. Whoa, whoa, what are those sparkles? That's crazy! What? Let me see, let me see! Hey, I told you not to peek! Uh-oh, fine! <laughs> In that case, you shouldn't peek here, too. It's my secret ingredient, friends. If Roger asks, you know nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm at the finish line here. This is my very last ingredient. The spell. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh-huh. It looks like it's been inscribed on this papyrus. Let's see what it says. I'll do the reading. bibbity bobbity subscribity. Ah! Shiver me, Chatters. Roger, where are you? I'm here, Sammy. I turned into a flower head or something. Help me! Call Master Merlin or read that spell again. Don't sweat it! Y'all should hit the thumbs up button to bring Roger back! Aha! Please bring him back, please! Oh, I'm here! And I'm me again! Thank you so much, Sammy. Ah, uh, it's no biggie. Here's your thing. Oh, that's right, thanks! I'm still gonna win? <sighs> Alrighty, here comes the final ingredient of my potion. It's time to reveal the winner. Ooh, I can already see that it's happening. Whoa, it's the magic fog. Was it supposed to be like that? Uh-oh, can I switch it off somehow? Why can't I see anything? Oh no, did I do it all wrong? Holy macaroons! Who is this? He looks so cool and so sweet! Come here, you little creature! Oh, you're so fluffy and soft! Whoa! He has such pretty eyes! <laughs> yeah, and he wants to become your friend, Sammy! Really? Well, I'm flattered! Look at him, fellas! Isn't he the cutest of all? Oh. Okay, it's time to see what I will get from my potion! We're scared! Sam! I told you not to use ancient recipes! So how is it going here? Whoa! Oh, Merlin's beard? Who did that? Sorry! That was me! I guess I'm not as good at potions as I thought! Of course you're not! And this little buddy agrees with me! And you would have got the same furry friend if you used modern magic like I did! What am I hearing, Roger? We don't talk like that. Sorry, you wizard ship. There's nothing magical in bullying your best friends. Your magic skills are fine, but your people skills, not so much. Now, let me see what happened here. Ah, Sammy, you read the recipe upside down. But don't be upset. It happens to me all the time. Just be more attentive, okay? Seriously? Friends, you should always be attentive when you read stuff, too. Bye-bye! 